Hello viewers, welcome to my first whiskey blog. I am Martijn de Vries and I'm from the Netherlands. So you can probably notice a little accent in my English. Um, why I started whiskey blogging is because um, I would like to share my ideas about whiskeys, uh, the tasting profiles and also um, some um, details about some breweries and some whiskeys. Um, I started tasting whiskey about two years ago. Um, a colleague of mine uh, had a uh, uh, bottled his own whiskey um, so I bought one from him and um, I really liked it. I really liked the taste, the difference in uh, types of whiskies, how it's made etc etc. So uh, over the past two years I uh, have uh, uh, drunk uh, a lot of uh, different types of whiskies um, and I thought oh, why shouldn't I share it with you, which types are which you should buy, which you shouldn't buy, which you should try um, and also a little bit history about uh, the whiskey itself. Um, so my first block is about the Dalwindy, 50 years old, um, which I will be telling something about the history of it, um, how it's made and uh, what it tastes like. The Dalwindy distillery is located uh, in the highlands of Scotland near the Grampian Mountains. It was founded in 1897. Um, what a fun fact about the Delwini distillery is that uh, before 1980 um, they used so-called warm tubs uh, for condensing uh, the alcohol vapes into the, uh, how do you call it, distilling boilers. Um, but in the, 90, in the 1980s uh, they need to respond to the latest insights into the whiskey industry, so they changed it. Um, but this has a very negative effect on the whiskey. So eventually they sent it all back and now they can call a cell switch. I thought four others and one of the uh, uh, not many um, whiskey distillers uh, that still use warm tubs today. Um, so I will be trying at the Delwini 15 years old. Um, it's, it's described as a soft and easy to drink whiskey with undertones of honey, vanilla, sweet and spicy fruits with a little hint of beet. Well, let's try it out. First, let's smell it. It's a very sweet apple-like, green apple-like nose. Can't wait to taste it, actually. It's also very sweet to taste. With vanilla, you can easily taste. You can taste the vanilla. I cannot really taste some beet in it, maybe a little, but it's pretty nice. It's indeed very easy to drink. Um, not a real explosion of taste, but very subtle and very, very easy to handle taste. I think. Let's try another. There's a little bit of spice as well. Also, the aftertaste is pretty great. It leaves very slowly, but it's not a very... Um, it's not something you want to uh, get away with water. It's very nice. It's it's called a gentle spirit, so it's also uh, for starters or uh, whiskey tasters that um, want to try is something uh, something that you can drink almost always, uh, which is my opinion, of course, uh, how it tastes. Um, um, so, like I said, you can get it for around four euros in stores, uh, which is not really expensive for a, a pretty good whiskey. Um, so this is the end of my first uh, review blog. Um, if you have tips for me or uh, things I uh, should and could do better, uh, please uh, leave a comment. Uh, please do not be too hard on me. This is my first blog. I'm just trying. Um, and I'm very interested in whiskeys and I will try a lot more. So please subscribe, follow. Um, and uh, I'll see you in the next review. Thank you.